Praise God. If you see my title, it says, God says, woe unto you preachers that are not telling the people about new world order martial law. Okay, point blank in the story. You know, um, I say I started coming out in 2014. I'm going to tell you the whole story. It doesn't matter what people think. I, I got to warn people, um, blow the trumpet. Come on, somebody. Spare, cry loud, and spare not, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. So basically, here's what's going on. In 2014, I was um, asleep, and God woke me up. It was 2 o'clock in the morning. And he did me like he did Peter. He says, Deanna, I have some hard things for you to do. Are you ready? And you know me with my crazy stuff. I said, yes, God. And three, he asked me three times. He said, do you know what you're saying yes to? I said, yes, Lord. He said, no, no, no. Do you know what you're saying yes to? I said, yes, Lord. He said, do you understand what you're saying yes to? I said, yes, Lord. I said, yes. And I remember he started talking to me. And I, I'm going to be very transparent. It doesn't even matter what y'all think. Because half of y'all going to understand later, way later. He started, started talking to me about the last president. And I saw a whole lot of stuff that, you know, and I'm just going, I don't, I, I don't have time to waste. See that last president y'all love so much. You're going to make y'all cry when New World Order come and martial law come. You ain't got to believe me now. Just wait. It's almost like King Saul. You wanted a king. You're about to get one, America. Well, the whole world about to get one. <laughs> y'all ain't ready. You see, I remember when they was having the, um, the, what they was having the, whatever presidency open or whatever and i said that he was supposed to stay in there so a lot of people blah, 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 blah. i just spoke to seen i know what i saw i know i saw the future and i know i saw him as king king all right him the pope they all got this thing going on the the guy from turkey there's so much stuff going on new world order is so real y'all acting like y'all don't understand you, you know in your spirit the ones that understand know what i'm talking about i don't care what color you are if you of the other side, no, I'm going to say the kingdom of darkness, you have the kingdom of darkness. And that's the end of that story. So anyway, God told me, he said, start speaking about him. So I did. Nobody that has been following me, I've been talking about the New World Order Martial Law since 2014. People came against me. They called me crazy. They called me a hate. What they didn't say, I was speaking hate, whatever. Y'all was just tripping, still tripping. But hold on. I sounded the alarm because now you got everybody. Because what I do is I challenge you. You don't believe me? Go to God. But more so. Connect the dots. Let me tell you something. Everything in life is a pattern. Everything It's like a big puzzle. Just put the, now if you don't want to put it together because you're scared, just say that. But don't come talking about I'm crazy. Although I am a little because you will have to be to do this. <laughs> you're not ready for me. I was wondering why God chose me. Hello? But let me continue. So he said, Deanna, you ready? I said, yeah. And I started crying. And he says, Deanna, just don't lie to my people and be strong. And I'm be honest with you, I really didn't know what I was saying yes to at that time. I would just got, thought God was like, you know, hey, I love you. I want to serve you. Yes. So that day, and I told y'all that this started happening. I was with my armor bearer and we was, we was riding. I never forget the moment in the time we was riding in Sacramento, California on Orton Way by Orton Fair Mall. And God told me, he said, Deanna, it's going to start. And this was in 2014, December 2014. I will never forget the day and the time. And so she was talking to him. I said, shut up. You know, I wasn't trying to be rude. I said, God's talking to me. And he says, by the time you get home, I'll watch the store. I said, God, what you talking about? So by the time I got home, they had a drone right here. I'm talking about the drone. I said, hello. I just, I looked up. She was so scared. She went in the house. So when I went in the house, she, I won't talk about it. I won't talk about it. I know she was scared. At first I was, I was like, <laughs> he said, no, you remember when I told you? Do you know what you're saying yes to? It is just like Jesus' days or John the Baptist. You think they're not going to come after us if we speak, but thus say it, the Lord. They did it to all the prophets. They killed all the disciples for speaking, thus say it, the Lord. I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. Hallelujah, I feel the power of God up in here. Let me tell you why I'm so passionate. That stuff I pulled when I was young, I don't understand how I didn't die. I, I was with some dangerous people. I don't mind saying, I don't think y'all are sexy. Some, most of the people, they clown about it. I lived, I, I ain't going to even lie to you because I got to go here. I got to tell you the extent of where I was to where I am. I rode with killers. No, 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 no. They weren't playing. They weren't playing. Trust me. It was some stuff. I never did it. Thank you, Jesus. He's, he didn't let me go that far. Hallelujah. So when God called me, I was like, surely you can't call me. 
And I understand why he called me. And I said, because you didn't been gully. You didn't been through that stuff. So you don't mind getting dirty. You don't mind dying for me because you was going to to die for something stupid. That's why I'm so gully. And I don't care, y'all. Because I, I, the stuff I pulled, six times up. Guns to my head. And, and me, I was so crazy back then. I remember telling people, Sh pull the trigger. I don't care. Because I was lost, gone. And you know the gun a jam or something? And I couldn't understand why he would save me, y'all. I couldn't understand why he would save me. So it is my duty to live and die for Christ. Hallelujah. That's why he chose me. So when I really started putting it together, the pieces, the puzzle, I said, understand now. You saved me because you didn't want me to die in foolishness, but I was going to die for your name. Hallelujah to his name. I gladly accept it. Scared of them people. They know that. We, we, we've been, we been trust me, they, they've been knowing me since 2014 because they've been doing what they do to me. I don't think it's a game. <laughs> I'm going somewhere. Walk with me if you can. So when it started happening, that drone, I got scared. He said, Dan, you can't get scared. So he told me to look on Martin Luther King life, Martin Luther King, I'm sorry, um, Mega Evers. Um, come on, come on. Uh, Malcolm X, I, I started had to, to really go through all their lives. I said, God, they knew they was going to die. He said, yes. He said, and so are you one day. Are you up for it? I cried. I ain't going to lie. I was like, I was going to die doing that crazy stuff. So bring it on. What you want me to do? I remember one night I was going to the um, kitchen, get me something to drink or eat, whatever the case may be. Caucasian man right there. Right there, you know, we had like double doors, you know, the sliding doors. He looked dead at me. I looked at him and I was like, we just looked at each other. I, I mean, what we, this is what we doing? This is what we doing? If you look at Martin Luther King, I'm going somewhere. I'm coming back around. Don't worry. Walk with me. Because sometimes you got to walk with a person to understand what's going on. If you look at Martin Luther King, the FBI, CIA, everybody that was prominent. Why you think the leaders of today ain't doing nothing? They scared of the CIA, DEA, and everybody else because they know they're going to die. Scared to die. That's why they ain't doing nothing. And I don't have no respect for them. No, I don't. Because that's what we do. It's in slavery. We die to live for other people. Y'all ain't ready for me right now. So let me continue what I'm saying. Then he made me, he wanted it to be real. He made me go when I was in Mississippi. So I want you to go by Mega Ever's house. You guys, I'm taking you on my journey because some of you going to have the same journey. All right? Hallelujah. I'm going to come back around. When I went to his house and I touched the door, it's like I saw when he killed him. My heart, it, it was like, he, I can't explain. It, it was like, it was almost like today. It's like I was there. Today, it felt like I was at the FEMA camp and people were there. I can't explain that to you. But it, it felt the same way with Mega Evers. It felt like I was there when they was killing him. And he said, you should experience the same thing, Deanna. And it seemed, I ain't going to lie to you. It felt like I got strength. Like I could do this. I want to encourage some of you. You could do this. So that's when I started asking God. Pray over myself. Make me strong. Mentally, physically, and spiritually. Because let me tell you what these people try to do. They try to get you in fear. That's, what, that's why they've been killing black men. Come on, somebody. Y'all ain't ready for me today. That's why they've been killing black men. Y'all don't understand the game? Because when martial law comes, they want every black man to be afraid. Y'all ain't ready for me. Because who they going to have a trouble with? Now, I ain't going to lie. They got some other ethnic groups they're going to have trouble with too. But who they going to really have trouble with? Y'all better understand what's going on here. This is a game. This is a plot. This chess. This ain't checkers. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Walk with me. Start asking God, give me a strong heart. Give me wisdom. Give me discernment. Don't let me be afraid if I got to read 2 Timothy three times a day. For I have not given you the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Hallelujah. They try to get into here. And if they get into here, you defeat it. Me like Jesus. Me like Jesus. Me like Jesus. Walk with me. Walk with me. Walk with me. That's why I preach and I teach what I do. And I ain't scared. I know a lot of people don't believe me. I don't care. I don't care. But, but I tell you. What I saw and felt today, most of you couldn't handle it. So now I understand why he called me in the prophetic. When I walked out of that Kroger, I was so weak. I was so weak because it was like I felt the cries and the death that's going to come to that place. Y'all ain't ready for me. 
So then when I got in the car, she said, I want you to get on, on, on live and tell them. Now, I didn't think I was going to go through that today. I'm telling you, I mean, that's why you got to be ready. And I'm glad I'm fasting because I don't think I could have took it without fasting. Hallelujah. The, the, Y'all don't understand. Unless you're a prophet, you don't understand. It's like you go through it before you tell the people. So long story short, he's saying, tell the pastors. Woe unto you, said the Lord, that's not preparing people for martial law and new world order because you are scared. That 5013C got you scared. But not only that, in the clause, some of you didn't sign that FEMA thing and you got that check coming every month. So you, you, you can't even say nothing because you're bound. That's why God never gave me a church per se. Y'all ain't ready for me. They didn't came and offered me whole buildings to rent grant, write grant letters. They have offered me everything. As a matter of fact, I just told y'all, they just sent me a, a letter from the society. It, it, we know you've had a hard time. Come on, somebody. Y'all know my story. In three weeks, you could have everything you want. And I mean, brush with the most biggest stars in the world. And the only reason they offer me is because of my gift. But I ain't crazy. I don't believe the devil because you're a liar from the beginning, says the Lord. Hallelujah. You only serve one. And that's the Lord thy God. Y'all scared, God see. And God told me to warn you. You see, you're scared because you're trying to save your family. Let me tell you how this is going to play out. And this is this is a prophet talking. They're going to use you till they can't use you up, and they're going to kill everybody and your family, which I rebuke in the name of Jesus, but I'm just telling you what thus said the Lord. You can't trust the devil. He's a liar, said the Lord. He's going to use you up to do his dirty work, and he's already doing it because some of y'all are plants. That's big money in plants right now. We just need you to, 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 to watch them, to watch them. Woe unto you, said the Lord, that take that plant money, by the way. Oh, a lot of plants on here watching anyway. It's good to you right now, huh? You're making it rain, huh? Hallelujah! But let me tell you something. You must not read the Bible. Because in the end, we win. Hallelujah to his name. Y'all sitting up there playing with stuff, Judas, that you don't know what you're playing with for 37 pieces. Count the cost, said the Lord thy God. Be scared of the one that can kill the soul and the body. Can't trust the devil. These people are devilish. They kill, they kill children and babies. What you think? You can trust somebody like that? They are in alliance with Satan. Satanism is up in this hour. You know these people be throwing them signs up. Hallelujah. They're not playing. And the reason why they throw signs up, even when they're giving great speeches, oh, they're going to make me say it. They had one on Black Girls Rock. I was with Angela Bassett till she threw up that sign. Go look at it. When she threw up the Illuminati side, I say, I thank God he saved me. God is real people. Don't let this world fool you. Don't let these people fool you. And God is still saying, come, come, repent, repent. What does it? To gain the whole world and lose your soul behind some money, sex, drugs, reputation, status. I used to want that, so don't play with me. I used to want, and I did some horrible things when I was in Hollywood. Oh, I don't lie about nothing. That's why they don't like me. Because they almost let me in, and then God pulled me back. Oh, I didn't tell y'all. In case you don't know, let me tell the story again. I was in Hollywood. And and they had they always get a start of recruiting. And I and sometimes we get starstruck. I'm gonna tell the truth. I really like this star. Until she got called me and talk about um um take your tailbone and, and touch the earth. I said, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a minute. She didn't know who I was, apparently. She wanted me to do witchcraft, they believe in Mother Earth and Satanism. And I never forget, even after that, God gave me a dream. He said, Deanna, do you want this or do you want that? He said, because you're about to make the wrong choice. And I thank God that he scared me. Yes, he did. That's, that dream scared me. I said, God, I want you. I lost everything. Oh, they left. They mocked me. I had to move back to Sacramento because I ain't have nothing. That's when I was kidding and Stevie Wonder. And I mean, money was just, I don't know, money was coming from where I didn't even know it was coming from. Or maybe I did. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't understand what I'm saying. They'll give you everything you want. Just keep doing the dirt. Sleep with women. Sleep with men. Sleep with both. Y'all ain't ready for me. Let's go to these parties that they, they have orgies. I'm going to tell the truth. Hallelujah. You got to ask God. Renew my mind, God. 
renew my heart. That's what I had to do. I don't want to die like that. I don't want to come through all that stuff that you stopped me from dying just to die like that. Because you can't do this by yourself. I don't care how brilliant you think you are or even anointed. That's why David sinned with Bathsheba. God, God set that up. God allowed that, may I say. He wanted David to know, because David had got pompous. He didn't even want to go to war. He was supposed to be a war that day. And David was like, I don't have to go to war. You know, you get pompous. You think you got it going on. Don't act like you don't know. And God showed to pull your car. And, and he said, well, let me show David what's in his heart. David didn't even know. Let's go ahead and get to the end of that story. Because, you know, he slept with Bathsheba and all that. And then had a husband killed. You know, I mean, he had just. And Nathan had to go to him and say, what would you do to the man that have everything and yet wanted another man? I mean, he did a parable. And Nathan said, that man should be killed. And Nathan said, that man is you. Sometimes you'll do stuff that you don't even, you have lost your way. And God allows something to bring you back. Some of you have lost your way. And don't get it twisted. I have too. There was, there were a time, even in this ministry, I had lost my way. Being with the wrong people, whatever the case may be, that say they love God, you better test everybody. And I think they thought I was a Facebook prophet. They didn't know this was real. Yeah, I'm going to say it like that. This ain't Facebook, baby. This is real. <laughs> Meet me and find out. Woe unto you, pastors and preachers. Y'all ain't teaching this stuff. Y'all leading the sheep. Y'all just getting on the PayPal me. And I see y'all and I see y'all doing it. Notice I've never done it. I can't do it. I can't do it. God won't let me. And I have niece, but God won't let me do it that way. Um, I'm preaching and y'all PayPal me. I can't do it. I don't know how you could do that, pastor, preacher, teacher, apostle, prophet. You are a liar before God. You're pimping. That's pimping. You don't ever put the word of God and pay power on me. Because the gospel is free. Salvation is free. It's already been paid for on Calvary. So now you're building on another man's foundation, which is a lie. Hallelujah to his name. I know it's tight and it's right. I know you don't like me. I don't care. Y'all better start preaching the truth. Prepare people, said the Lord. Prepare people. Prepare people. I know you don't want this to happen, but it has to happen because America have sinned against God. Oh, yeah, I'm going here today. Today is deep. Y'all, that president that y'all elected that last, the Bible says that he would think to change time and laws. He's the one said that two men can get married, but but y'all still love him. Y'all Christians, fake Christians. <laughs> yeah, I said it. You don't like me, whatever. Y'all understand what time it is? And people say, oh, we're going to be gone. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. There is a period that will be such tribulation, said the Lord. And God will allow it. Because to be honest with you, we Christians were supposed to stand up. And I'm in that too. We're supposed to stand up. But now, remember, we low ones, they don't be listening to us because we don't have a, a big ministry. We don't, we're not mega. But woe to the ones that could have stopped some things and didn't say nothing. Woe to the ones that had a voice and didn't use it. I just said something. Because some of y'all have voices and you're not even using it for righteousness. You're using it for pimping. And God going to get you, said the Lord. Hallelujah to his name. Y'all sitting up there playing. And I'm going to tell you, my sister and my brother, this is not the time to play. Y'all sitting, let me tell y'all what, what God is saying. The enemy that came in the church and got everybody trying to build many kingdoms so you can prove to everybody I'm blessed. So, so you buying cars and you buying this and you're doing all that stuff. When the last time you witnessed for real? When the last time you laid on your face all night? When the last time you laid hands on somebody? When the last time you labored for somebody? I'm talking about somebody, a stranger that you met at the store or anywhere. Come on. When the last time you spoke a word of God? When was the last time you told a family member what does say the Lord? When was the last time? Say it, the Lord. This ain't no game. We should all give account, say it, the Lord thy God. Me too. Everything I tell you is for me as well. Don't get it twisted. I'm just a messenger. This stuff deep. Today shook the core of my spirit when I walked in that Kroger. And they closing. And, and I knew something was wrong because they make, a lot, they make a lot of money in this area. Trust me. It's a nice area, but it's like in between two areas. Y'all know how they do it. And I couldn't understand it. When they told me it, it's closing Friday, I say, and I, and I ain't gonna lie, I had no, I wasn't going by that Kroger. So when God deterred me to go there today, and for those that didn't, wasn't on the last video, I said that they're still closing stores to make FEMA camps. 
when I walked in that store, I felt sick. No, actually, it was like five minutes after. He made me walk around the whole store, and that's when he started showing me it's going to be a FEMA camp. And so I told you, I went to, I went to the cashier and I told her and she, she, she just, she said, well, I got the chills. That's when, you know, the word has went forth and it's real. I know this is a hard word. She was, to be honest with you, most of my ministry been hard word. Why do you think people don't like me? That's the doom and gloom. <laughs> Trust me. I wish I had some good news. Like we was all going to heaven right now. We all going to chair us all. All right. That's not my reality. That's not your reality. Reality is God says that my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And I got, a, I got a message for you plants. I know you think you're doing a justice. But remember, they got two files on people. They got a real file and they got a fake file. So I'm sure if somebody come to you with a badge from the FBI, CIA, and all that, and they got a fake file, oh, yes, I want to help my country. All right, help your country. You, you better go to God and ask God if that person did that. Because you're going to get in trouble quick for some money. So all y'all that's taking that plant money, God said, be very careful. Judah's spirit is real. But look what happened to Judas. <laughs> you, some of you ain't going to be able to enjoy it. My God, my God, my God. All right, I got to get off of here. All right. God bless you. God keep you. Um, um, I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm kind of, I'm still, I'm still with the FEMA thing at this store. Whew, y'all just don't understand how heavy that was upon me. My God, my God. I can't, I wish I could, I wish y'all could see what I see. That's what I wish. Hallelujah. And some prophets are be able to see it, but most you can't retain it. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is who you are. Pay, I mean, um, tag and pass this around, please. God bless you.